Six miles above the ground, everything feels routine, until it isn't. The hum of the engines, the gentle sway of the cabin, the quiet confidence of flight. These are the things we take for granted. But all it takes is one strange sound, a sudden shudder, and instantly the mood in the cabin shifts from calm to alert. Passengers glance at each other, searching for reassurance, while the crew springs into action. Flight attendants move with purpose, their training kicking in as they check seatbelts and reassure nervous travelers. In moments like these, the hidden world of aviation safety leaps into action, quietly but efficiently. Emergency landings are rare, but when they do happen, years of rigorous training and cutting-edge technology come together in a matter of seconds. Pilots scan their instruments, communicate with the crew, and make split-second decisions that can change everything. This isn't about fear, it's about the incredible system that protects us when things go wrong. Every piece of equipment, every checklist, every drill is designed for this very moment. You can't just pull over in the sky. Up here, the stakes are sky high, and the response must be flawless. There's no room for hesitation, only action. From the cockpit to the fire trucks on the runway, a chain of professionals is ready, each one playing a vital role in the safety net that surrounds every flight. Pilots, controllers, and ground crews train constantly for moments like this. Simulators, drills, and real-world experience all come together to prepare them for the unexpected. Thousands of flights land safely every day but behind the scenes readiness never stops. Maintenance teams, operations staff, and emergency responders are always on alert. Let's pull back the curtain and see what really happens when a pilot makes that call. It's a moment that sets a complex, well-rehearsed plan into motion. It's a story of calm under pressure, teamwork, and procedures designed to get everyone home safe. Every action is deliberate, every word matters. These are the people who run toward the problem, not away from it. Their courage and training make all the difference when seconds count. From cockpit to control tower to tarmac, this process deserves respect. It's a symphony of coordination with every person playing their part. Even when you're relaxing at 35,000 feet, a network of dedicated professionals is on the job. That's a comforting thought, and it's the reason air travel remains one of the safest ways to get from here to there. So, what happens next? How does a routine flight become a test of skill and preparation? Let's find out. The ordinary becomes extraordinary in a heartbeat. In those moments, every second counts and every decision matters. The system is always ready, even if you never see it. Behind every flight, there's a world of preparation and vigilance. Every emergency is a test and a testament to the people behind the scenes. Their expertise and commitment are what keep us safe. This is the story of how aviation keeps you safe no matter what. It's a story of trust, technology, and teamwork. And it all starts with a single call. A call nobody wants to make, but one that sets everything in motion to bring everyone home. An emergency landing isn't always dramatic and it doesn't always look like the movies. Sometimes it's a calm, controlled descent with everyone on board unaware that anything unusual is happening. Other times it's more urgent, with the crew working quickly to address a serious issue. But it always means one thing, the plane needs to get on the ground, fast. The pilots are trained to make quick decisions, prioritizing safety above all else, and they work closely with air traffic control to find the nearest suitable airport. It's any unscheduled stop caused by an urgent problem, mechanical, medical, weather, or even security. No matter the reason, the crew's main focus is to protect everyone on board and get help as soon as possible. The goal shifts instantly from being on time to being safe. Every action, every decision, is about minimizing risk and ensuring the best possible outcome for passengers and crew. Mechanical issues are the most common trigger. Anything from a warning light to a serious malfunction. Even a small technical problem can prompt a diversion if there's any doubt about safety. Medical emergencies turn the plane into a flying ambulance, diverting to the nearest airport so passengers can get urgent care. Time is critical, and every second counts. Bad weather can force a diversion if conditions become unsafe. Pilots are constantly monitoring weather reports ready to change course if turbulence, storms, or poor visibility threaten the flight. Sometimes it's a fire, a cracked windshield, or a security threat. These situations demand immediate action and a coordinated response from everyone involved. The list is long so the procedures are robust. Pilots and crew train for these scenarios regularly, so they're ready for anything. An emergency landing is the ultimate safety valve in aviation, a last resort that's always available if something goes wrong. It's not a single event, but a category of situations where getting on the ground is the safest choice. Each one is unique, but the goal is always the same. The decision is never taken lightly, but it's a critical tool that keeps flying safe. Communication and teamwork are essential every step of the way. Every emergency landing is about one thing, protecting lives. Passengers, crew, and responders all play a part in making sure everyone stays safe. That's why the system is built with so many layers of protection, ensuring that, no matter what happens, there's always a plan to keep everyone safe. 
When trouble hits, pilots follow a mantra, aviate, navigate, communicate. This simple phrase is drilled into every pilot from their very first lesson, and it becomes second nature in the cockpit. In moments of crisis, it's the mental checklist that keeps chaos at bay and guides every action. First, aviate, fly the plane. No matter what's happening, the top priority is to keep the aircraft stable at the right speed and altitude. Pilots focus on the basics, attitude, airspeed, and altitude. Nothing else matters if you're not flying. Even in the most stressful situations, maintaining control is the foundation for every decision that follows. Next, navigate. Find the safest place to land. It's not always the closest runway, it's the best one for the emergency at hand. Pilots quickly assess their options, considering terrain, distance, and available airports. Sometimes, a highway or open field might be safer than an airport miles away. Pilots consider runway length, emergency services, weather, and the nature of the problem. They weigh every factor, making split-second decisions that could mean the difference between disaster and survival. Only then do they communicate, calling air traffic control to declare the emergency. Clear, calm communication is essential to coordinate help and keep everyone informed. If it's urgent but not dire, they say pan-pan three times. It means priority, but not immediate danger. Air traffic controllers know to give assistance, but it's not a full-scale emergency. If it's life-threatening, they say mayday three times. That word clears the airwaves and triggers a full emergency response. Every controller, every responder, knows to act immediately. Mayday means all hands on deck, engine fire, loss of pressure, or total systems failure. It's the universal signal for urgent help, and it mobilizes resources in seconds. Pilots are trained to use these calls without hesitation. In simulators they practice emergencies over and over, so their reactions become automatic. The system is designed for clarity and speed. Every word, every action is meant to cut through confusion and get help where it's needed most. Every second counts, and everyone knows their role. From the cockpit to the control tower to the emergency crews on the ground, coordination is everything. The cockpit becomes a command center focused on one goal, a safe landing. Pilots rely on teamwork, training, and trust in their procedures. Training turns chaos into order. Repetition builds confidence, so when the real thing happens, pilots are ready. The right words at the right time can save lives. Communication isn't just about talking, it's about making sure everyone understands what's happening and what needs to be done. That's the power of a pilot's playbook. It's a system built on discipline, clarity, and the unwavering commitment to bring everyone home safely. When a pilot declares an emergency, the ground response is instant and coordinated. Air traffic control clears the skies, giving the distressed plane a direct path to the runway. Controllers provide vital info, weather, wind, best runway, while keeping calm and focused. The airport's rescue and firefighting teams, ARFF, roll out specialized trucks, ready to respond within minutes. EMS, police and TSA all mobilize, securing the area and preparing for any outcome. If the landing is off airport, local fire, police and EMS take the lead, with the FAA and NTSB notified immediately. Every agency knows its part in this well-rehearsed dance. The response is massive, layered and ready to go anywhere, anytime. It's a system built for speed and precision. When seconds matter, everyone moves as one. Not every emergency landing is the same. The most common is a precautionary landing. Something seems off so the pilots land early, just in case. These are usually low stress and controlled, often ending with a normal taxi to the gate. A forced landing is more serious, something fails and the pilot must land wherever possible, even off airport. This takes skill and nerves of steel. The rarest is ditching, landing on water as in the miracle on the Hudson. Each type demands a different response from crew and ground teams. Most emergencies are precautionary, handled by professionals who put safety first. Forced landings and ditchings are rare, but the system is ready for them. Understanding the differences puts these events in perspective, safety is always the top priority. Landing isn't the end of the emergency, it's just the next phase. If there's danger, the crew orders an evacuation. Flight attendants direct everyone out in under 90 seconds. Passengers leave everything behind. Speed is life. Once clear, EMS triages the injured and uninjured passengers are moved to safety. Airlines and crisis counselors provide support, food and information. Meanwhile, investigators from the NTSB and FAA take over. They examine the aircraft, recover the black boxes, and piece together what happened. The investigation is thorough, aiming to prevent future incidents. Every emergency becomes a lesson for the entire industry. The aircraft is inspected and repaired before flying again. The goal learn improve and make flying even safer. Every response is about turning chaos into care. After all this, you might worry about flying, but you shouldn't. 
The real story is the safety net built by relentless training and engineering. Commercial aviation is the safest way to travel, thanks to decades of learning and commitment. Pilots train endlessly for emergencies, turning response into instinct. Flight attendants are certified safety pros, ready for anything. Air traffic controllers and ground crews drill constantly. Aircraft are built with backups for every critical system. Redundancy buys time and options in any emergency. Trust the invisible system around you, the people, the machines, the procedures. Every emergency landing proves the strength of aviation safety culture. Flying is safe not because nothing goes wrong but because we're ready when it does. The system is always improving, always learning. That's why you can fly with confidence.